It's easier than ever to create videos with consistent characters. I'll cover three of the best methods. I'll use myself as an example mostly, but I'll also demonstrate with other characters. I'll add in some lip syncing just for fun too. These first two methods will involve generating an image, then using image to video to animate them. The third method will create directly with text to video, so you can compare and decide which method will work best for your needs. They're all pretty easy. This first method is the easiest, it works just from a single image. I use this on Replicate. You log in with a GitHub account, and there's tons of amazing AI models you can use. To run them, you need to have a credit card on file, and it will charge based on usage instead of the monthly credits model most platforms use. This one, like most, is very cheap, and it can run 45 times for a dollar. The name is Fluxpulid. You can just type Fluxpulid into the search box to find it. It's this one right here. Once it's open, you upload your character. I've got a basic image of me. Next, write a prompt. For a simple one, I'll use a wizard casting a spell. I'll switch the aspect ratio to 16.9. Most of these settings I'll leave at the defaults. They usually work well, then you can adjust as needed. It should default to four generations at a time, which I like, but you can lower it if you need to. It autofills some decent negative prompts. Then I like to switch to PNG for the output format. Then click run. And in around 20 seconds, here's the result. Pretty incredible to be able to do that from a single image. It's the best I've found for that. Here's some more examples. Now here's using a face other than my own. I can upload the character, then type in a prompt. The rest of the settings are still good and run it. And I'll get to turning these into a video in a minute, but I wanna show the other method of creating the images first. This one involves using multiple images to train a model. I will also use this on Replicate. Search for Ostris, O-S-T-R-I-S, -S, then pick the one that says Flux Dev Laura Trainer. First, write a name for where the model will be stored. I'll use Kevin2 because I've already done this before, but I'm using better images to train this time. Then I'll keep mine as private. For the training, you need 10 or more photos. I'll use some of my thumbnails, then I took another few pictures to use. Compress the images into a zip file, then drag that into the box to upload. You only have to train it once, then you'll be able to use it anytime you want. Next, create a trigger word, which you'll refer to in your prompts to trigger it to use this character. I'll type a photo of Kevin in the auto captions. This is optional. Now I'll increase the Laura rank to 32. That will help to train on complex features. Everything else is good, so I'll click create training. These take about 20 minutes to finish and it costs three to five dollars. And once it's trained, it's really cheap to generate the images just like the other one was. That's all finished training, so now I can click on Run Trained Model. In the future, you can access this and any other models you train at any time from your dashboard. I'll type in a prompt. Kevin was my trigger word. So Kevin is a wizard casting a spell. I'll use a 16 by nine aspect ratio, switch the number of outputs to four, then scroll all the way down and switch to PNG again. Then Run generates really fast, and here are the results. The face is basically perfect. It's incredible how far this tech has come. It is just so easy to do this now, and here's some more examples. One issue you'll run into is face bleed. If you prompt a scene with multiple people, it will often use characteristics from the training on other faces. Like this one sipping tea with Queen Elizabeth was all right. Then this other one was very unsettling. Most marketers are missing a massive opportunity with custom GPTs. So HubSpot created a free PDF covering how to create custom GPTs that 10X your marketing results. Instead of using basic prompts, this guide covers how to build custom GPTs that become powerful marketing assets. Basically a team of AI assistants for everything from social media content to ad copy to data-driven market research. GPTs are just generally an underutilized part of ChatGPT because they take a little time to figure out, but HubSpot covers every aspect of it step-by-step. It walks you through the basic setup, then 
customizing and personalizing the GPT's knowledge, training, testing, and refining. For all these steps, it includes tested templates and strategic frameworks to drive real results. Custom GPTs are a really valuable tool for marketing, so download the completely free PDF down in the description. And thank you to HubSpot for sponsoring this video. All right, now I wanna show how to train that on a different character. So I'll try an alien. One way that works pretty easily in most image generators is to prompt for a character sheet. Here's a basic prompt to use then modify. Then describe your character, clothing, and style. It might not be perfect every time, but with a couple tries, you should be able to get a good one. From there, crop that into different shots. So I'll crop out the three different angles, then do a close-up of the face from each angle. You could do some mid-range crops, or this has pretty symmetrical characteristics, so I can flip the canvas and use them as separate images. Pretty easy. Go through the same process, give it a name. I'll call it Blute. I don't know, it's a blue alien in a suit. Blute. Then take all those, zip the file, upload it, then trigger word and auto caption, 32 for the Laura rank, then create training. And I already did this, so I'm not gonna train it again. I'll just go to my dashboard, click models, and open up the Blute model. Now I can prompt for that character. Blute is playing a guitar on stage. You can see the results are more hit or miss than before, but some of them will look really good. Now I'll turn these into videos using Kling. You could use other video generators like Runway, Minimax, or Luma Labs. I just happen to have a lot of credits on Kling at the moment. Switch over to image to video, drag the image in. For the prompt, you can leave it blank and let Kling decide what to do, or type what you want to happen. Vikings walk into battle. I usually leave these settings on the defaults. Then you can customize the camera control in a lot of different ways if you want to. Then generate. Kling takes five to 10 minutes usually. It came back like this, that looks great. Sometimes it takes some re-rolls or altering the prompt, or sometimes it will just never do what you want it to. But like most video generators, it works sometimes. I'll show some more examples. Some of these are from Runway 2, and I use that because it generates a lot faster. Now for the third method, this is the newest feature in Kling. You can train a model on videos of yourself. And you'll see as I went through this, I discovered a few things not to do. So hopefully that will save you some time. You have to be on their pro plan to use this feature right now. Currently they do have some discounts running on that. I don't know if that will be the case when you may be watching this video though. And the feature is over here under AI custom model. It will have some terms about using these responsibly and not infringing on other people's rights. So only use content that you have the rights to. Click agree, then upload your first video. This first one, it asks for a close up front view with a natural expression. Make sure you have good lighting. It's not blurry, no subtitles, just a good quality video. Upload that. And I probably didn't need to move my head from side to side like that, but it should work just fine. Then move on to the next step. Now you'll upload 10 to 30 additional videos of the same character each five to 15 seconds. They should be doing different actions and using different expressions. I try to do this on the same day so the hair and other features are the same. Do some close, some medium, some full body. Wave your arms, dance, make different faces. I actually recorded a bunch of different stuff without really going through all this very carefully, but I'll upload it all. And it's analyzing the quality of each, so I'll let it run and come back. Now it didn't accept five of the videos, which makes sense. I was trying to get some different actions, but it was too far away for most of them. In retrospect, it should have been pretty obvious that this one wasn't needed. But I recorded some more really quick, so I'll upload those. The total, that's 14 videos now. This should be plenty. You could max it out if you want. I'd recommend doing very similar videos to their examples rather than the method I took of just doing random stuff in different spots. But this should work just fine, so I'll go forward with it. It does use a lot of credits to train this, but you only have to do it once. So I'll submit, and it takes about two hours, so I'll come back when it's done. Another thing I discovered is it doesn't accept HDR videos, which are the default on iPhones. So if you're shooting on an iPhone, make sure to go to your settings and turn off HDR while you shoot these. Otherwise, you'll have to convert them all like I did. So the training is all done. Now, anytime I want to use that face reference, I can select it, then write a prompt as usual. I'll do, Kevin is casually walking away from an explosion. That one looks great. It is a little far away, so I'll do something closer. Close up shot. Kevin the Viking charges into battle. That looks amazing. A little flicker on the face in one part, but a really good job at looking like me. I mean, that's my exact battle face. 
I'll show that across a few more different scenes. Another cool feature in Kling you can use with this is the lip syncing. It's built right in, just click lip sync, then you can do text to speech or upload your audio. After you drag it in, just click lip sync. That's all there is to it, and now this is me talking as a Viking. Those are the best ways I've found to create videos of yourself or other consistent characters. Hopefully that's helpful for you to decide which works best for what you're trying to create. If you want to make your AI videos more cinematic, I have a full course right here on YouTube. Watch that to make your videos more cinematic and lifelike. And make sure to check out futurepedia.io to find the best AI tool for any use case, browse curated tutorials, stay up to date with AI innovations, and sign up for the free newsletter. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.